Hey everyone, welcome back to The Fin Factor, I'm Paul. And this is a very special episode number 23. 23 like Barclay Goodrow Goody. It is a Goody episode because we got to sit down with legendary Sharks goaltender Evgeny Nabokov. We're here at SAP Center. They're doing a Hall of Fame induction ceremony, San Jose Sports Hall of Fame. And again, we got to sit down with them, ask some questions. It's a short interview, but I think you guys are really gonna like it. So uh, stay tuned. You missed this one, Aaron. So uh, we're here with Evgeny Nabokov. Uh, we're at the uh, induction ceremony for the San Jose Hall of Fame. Uh, welcome and thank you for coming on the show. Yep, thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So, um, you know, you joined some pretty elite company today uh, with Doug Wilson, Artris Irve, Owen Nolan, and George Gunn III already haven't been inducted in the San Jose Hall of Fame, the Sports Hall of Fame. And um, I'm just wondering, what does this Hall of Fame recognition mean to you? Well, it's, 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 truly, it's uh, truly the honor, uh, you know, to be uh, in the same sentence, uh, to be named with this, in the same sent sentence as, uh, as Doug and uh, Owen and uh, George and, uh, and Archie. Um, you know, in hockey, when you're growing up, you don't really think about this too much, you know, about the Hall of Fame or about mm -hmm. anything. You know, you just love the game. You love uh, being on the ice and uh, love to play the game, right? And uh, but in the end of the day, when everything's said and done, uh, it's very humble. Uh, very, very. I'm very proud of uh, what uh, myself and the team been accomplished. And uh, you know, I've been around great people in my life, and I think that's uh, uh, that's a great. Nice. So uh, I kind of want to jump back. So when you were first drafted, did you even know where San Jose was? I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> had no idea. I was, uh, so we were, uh, at that time, it was 1994, I was in uh, Dinamo. And um, so we, w we went to uh, sauna and after the uh, practice and mm -hmm. somebody brought the newspapers and, and, and told me that uh, <laughs> I was, uh, I was drafted. I looked. I said, "Well, that's that's very nice, uh, but uh, I had you know some work to do ahead of me with uh, my new team because right. that was my fir first year in Moscow team, and the whole concentration was you know to play really well and uh, and be good uh, for Dynamo Moscow." Yeah. So. So did you have a favorite player, either earlier when you first came on, that maybe you attached to right away, or over the years, someone that you played with a lot that you, you drew yourself to? Uh, where? At, in San Jose. Well, the first, uh, first two years I spent in, in a farm club. Mm -hmm. So I was in, uh, in Lexington. I was there learning English and learning the style of right. play. And uh, uh, the guy who was with me throughout the whole uh, time, it was Warren Strillo, my goalie coach. Yes. And so we spent a lot of time together, uh, and he's the guy who would teach me, you know, the patience, the North American style of hockey game, and and some other life things. So awesome. it's uh, he was the guy. Nice. And I'll touch on Warren uh, a little yeah. bit later on. As okay. Well. Yeah. Um, the 2008 game against the Dallas Stars yep. the, in, the, in the finals there. Um, what was it like? Uh, my our, my co-host Aaron isn't here. He wanted to ask you this question. Uh, what was it like to play four overtimes? Because that seems like a ridiculous amount of time. Well, you're in such a moment, you don't really realize in what's oh. going on because the, 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 the concentration, and I think it was game six, uh, and we had to win that game, and the concentration was, you know, at the highest level it can be. and. Uh, you just in a moment and you don't think about anything other than you know <laughs> where the people are going and where the puck is going so um it's not like now now if i'm watching the game and uh from the stands you know a lot of things going through your mind but yeah. when you're really playing nothing is matter other than the puck and the people around right so you're playing a game right yeah. you're having kind of fun yeah so oh, that's great kind of take your mind off of it yeah oh 100 percent it's uh, you know, my parents all the time saying that, uh, my, well, my dad mm -hmm. all the time was saying that it's easier to play than watch you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, talking about that, say, yep. it's an it, amazing display of athleticism and both reaction as well. For younger goaltenders coming up, if they were to focus on one of those two attributes more than the other, does one make more sense to, to hone in on in terms of reaction timing or just your athleticism? Does one outweigh the other? Um, I think it's just to follow the puck. Okay. 
you know, you, you watch where the puck go and you try to get there, right? But sometimes at certain plays, it, it's, you have to do the desperation saves. And yeah. that, that, that save, I think, was one of those saves where um, the pass went far across on uh, the back door. And uh, I had to kind of spread and, mm -hmm. um, you know, try to do my best to, to reach for, uh, uh, for that shot. And uh, so I, I'm glad that I was able to get it because usually those uh you know those bugs go over the goal line so yeah yeah, yeah. well we're, we're glad you saved it too it's yeah. a great moment in sharks history yeah. so uh, i'm gonna just read this one because it's a very long okay. so relating to eric carlson uh when you moved on from san jose how difficult was the transition from old team to new specifically things uh the average fan may not think of as burdensome and getting into your groove you know to be honest with you for me it's and i i really think for the goal it's a little bit easier because for the goalie, all you have to worry about is, is really the shot. Mm. And it doesn't matter what team you're playing, your concentration <laughs> is, you know, the shot and where the shot is coming from, right? right? And as a player, you have to worry about so many different things. So where are you gonna be on a power play? How are the guys gonna get open? What the speed and all this. Right. So it's, uh, it's, I think it's harder for the player to adjust to the new team than, because the goalie position is a little bit selfish mm -hmm. position. So you just <laughs> got to your own place and you gotta, uh, you gotta do uh, best you can. So the most important thing then, just staying square and that's what Yeah, you just, for. exactly. So you just worry about your play. Right. Where if you're a player, it's, uh, it depends on other players on the ice, what they do. So the way it's going to affect you right. later on. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, another long one, so I'm just going to read this. Yeah, that's too. fine. You're fine. Um, so you came back to San Jose to retire as a shark, uh, something that we've seen other ex-sharks do. Uh, what is it about San Jose that makes players want to stay here after their careers and contribute through the alumni organization and the community in general? Well, to me, it's, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the area and, uh, you know, how great the, you know, the weather and this and that. But to me, it was, uh, uh, you know, number one, the kids were born here and to us, it was uh, a home mm. because I'm from Russia. Uh, my wife is from uh, Lexington, Kentucky. And, uh, you know, we, we couldn't go there or there, right? So we decided to stay here. But number two reason is because, you know, for 10 years, I, I was for 13 years, actually, if you start in 97, mm -hmm. You know, when you're around people and you just love to be around them, and now when, you know, when Doug called me and, and offered, you know, to retire here, and then he asked me if I, if I want to do anything in here, and, you know, I said, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just asked him in what capacity I can do that, and uh, we discussed that, and it, it was kind of an easy decision because, yeah. like I said, this organization is a, is a world-class organization, and I'm... Uh, you know, I'm proud that I, I kind of proud and lucky to be a part of it. Yeah. So, well, we're glad to have you still with the organization. Yeah. Of course, I, again, I read uh, an article today where you you still hear people chanting your name. Nah, be, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. It's yeah. one of those things that still fills you with a good it's, feeling. It, yeah. yeah, it's it, it's hard to ignore. You know, yeah. it, it's hard to say, oh no, I don't like it because it's <laughs> it's really when you when you were on the ice and you kind of you have chills going through the through your body and. Uh, when it's still continue at times yeah. in here, it's just, it's it's very humbling, but it's it's cool. Nice. So last question, and then I'll let you go, because I know you've got lots of other things to be doing. Yep. Uh, I, I mentioned we'd be getting back to Stralo again. Yep. Um, so Doug had offered you um, a chance to retire here. You're now coaching with the San Jose Barracuda. You're the, the goaltending coach for the prospects, correct? Right. Yeah, so what's that like now, being able to come full circle, where you had your, your, your mentor and your teacher showing you the ropes and now you're kind of in that position now mm -hmm. being able to show all these young prospect goaltenders uh, the way to play the game I'm sure you're borrowing a lot from Stralo's instruction and in, in the way that you coach as well so how rewarding is that after you've been playing to go in and, and go into this coaching role well I think it was an easy transaction for me transition transi transition for me mm -hmm. because uh, like I grew up in hockey family my dad was a, was a goalie also mm -hmm. and you know obviously uh, being raised by uh, by him by by him by my mom and in him, you know, uh, we talk hockey all the time yeah. and uh, it was nonstop and we share things and as I got older we still were sharing things and 
talking about other goaltenders, other styles and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then like to me now, it's just like I'm trying to, it's a combo of my dad, Warren and myself, what I think is, is the right thing. And, uh, and that's what kind of I do. So it's, it's, to be honest with you, it's, it's easy. And when you have, again, great people around yeah. you and they willing to listen, it just makes your life uh, easy. Yeah, when you're doing what fun. you love, it's not really a job, is it? Yeah, so. it's, it's really not. That's great. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by. We really do appreciate you taking all of our questions. Um, they're going to be honoring him tonight, and it was an honor for me to be able to sit and talk with you. So thanks yeah. again. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Thank you. So that was the interview that we had with, uh, or I had with Evgeny Nabokov. Uh, honestly, very, very honored to be able to sit down and chat with him. It was just a great experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I want to say a quick thank you to San Jose Sports Authority, Mr. John Poach and Keon Johnson, helping us out with getting this set up, both getting Nabokov with us and obviously this great, awesome set that we have in the suite here. So again, a big thank you to, uh, to you guys for making this happen. So. That's the end of episode number 23. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and we will see you. I hate you, Aaron. Next week. Goodbye. Do you want any awesome. stickers on our show? Have you heard of this before? Yes, I no. actually have heard of You it. have? Really? No way. Yeah. Like, because I was. Bakov uh, Sons heard of us. <laughs> hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out the show. You can support us by following us at The Fin Factor on Twitter and Facebook. You can also find us on Instagram as at Fin Factor. If you're listening to us as a podcast, please, please, please give us a five-star review. And if you want to support our show, share our episode with your friends. Please leave us a comment of what you thought of this episode. And if you want us to cover anything else, let us know.